Now, one of the objectives in reading the Bible is we read for the sake of uncovering meaning. Like, what is Paul saying? What is the meaning of this text? And once we discern meaning, then the second question is, how does this intersect with my life? We call that application. So how do we move from meaning to application? We first have to discern meaning. And one of the cues or clues that we look for when trying to discern meaning is repeated words. When Paul repeats a word over and over or any part in scripture, when a word is repeated, that should clue us into there's emphasis here that we need to pay attention to. And as you read through verse three, Paul will use the word think four times, four times. See if you can count them as we read it again. This is verse three. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think of yourself more highly than you ought, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment in accordance with the faith that God has distributed to each of you. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking like, Brian, I was paying really close attention. I was counting every word, and Paul only used the word think twice. You're saying for you might need to brush up on your rudimentary counting, right? So I'm going to get a little nerdy with you, and we're going to look at this in Greek. And I've been thinking about this all week, and I've been so excited to do this. This is really cool. So I'm going to show you this passage in Greek, right? This is verse 3 in Greek. And as we know that the New Testament wasn't written in English, it was written in Greek. And what you see in this verse is there's four words that are bold and underlined. Each of those four words are the word think. It's the word phronane. Everybody say phronane. Yes. Now what Paul does, the two in the middle are the straight word phronane for think. But the first word and the fourth word, what Paul has done is he's made a compound word, right? He's put two words together to make a new word. And the root word in both of those is phronane. So at the beginning, he uses the term uper, which is a preposition, which means above. So uper phronain, which is thinking above, or to think highly, or to think up. And then the fourth word is the word so in phronain. So would be like sound or safe. So phronain. So it would be like safe thinking or sound thinking. So he uses the word phronane four times. The way that we translate it into English kind of um, mutes the two words think in part to give different meaning to the idea of thinking highly of ourselves or to think of ourselves with sober judgment. But a literal translation of verse 3 could be this. It could be, do not overthink what you ought to think of yourself, but think of yourself in a sound thinking way. So Paul really is trying to drive home that the way you think about things has a huge impact in your life. Like he's saying, if you want to become transformed to be more like Christ, it starts with the renewal of your mind. You think about things in a certain way. Because engaging in God's calling starts with our thinking. 